Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 62 on SO exam P. So I'll pause the video real quick and try to smile yourself. Okay, as a minute, let's just dive right in. So this question basically asks, calculate the probability that in the coming year, probability that B is company B's claim would be greater than company A's total claim amount. So company B's total claim amount will exceed company A in two scenarios, right? If company A has zero claims and company B has one claim, B has a claim, right? Or if both of them has a claim, but B is greater than A. So the first scenario is kind of easy. What is the probability that A has no claim? Well, if they have 60%, they have 60% chance that they have no claim. So that's going to be 60, right? And then what is the probability that B has a claim? Well, they have 30%, um, 70 percent chance that they have no claim. So they must have 30% that they have a claim. So this is equal to 0.18. And then what is the probability that they both have a claim? That's going to be equal to, if they have 60% chance of no claim, then th they must have 40% chance that they have a claim. So this is equal to 12 times the probability that B is greater than A. We can't forget about that. So then when we're looking at the probability that B is greater than A, this is just basically looking at the bivariate normal distribution because we, are, we know that B and A are both um, normally distributed. So then, yeah, then we can just rock and roll. What is the probability that B minus A is greater than zero? It's the equivalent to saying that. So in order for us to normalize it, we need the mean. We know the mean of A is equal to 10,000. The mean of B is equal to 9,000. The mean, I'm going to call it actually B minus A, X. I'm going to so denote X is equal to B minus A. What is the probability that x is greater than zero? So this is the same thing as saying, so we need the mean of x, which is exactly just the mean of b minus a, which is equal to 9,000 minus 10,000, which is equal to negative 1,000. Then we need the standard deviation. Standard deviation of a is equal to 2,000. Standard deviation b is equal to 2,000 as well. Okay, and then what is the standard deviation of x, which standard deviation of x is standard deviation of b minus a, right? Which is equal to, we have to make sure we put it under our square root, and it's basically like 2,000 square, right? We have to put it back in variance form, plus negative 2,000 squared. This is something unique about the variance form, which is equal to square root of 800,000, 8 million, <laughs> which is approximately equal to... 2828.427. All right, we're ready to normalize this sucker out. So the probability of x minus the mean of x minus standard deviation of x is greater than zero minus the mean of x, which it, we know is negative thousand. So that's plus plus, right? Negative negative, which is makes it a pos positive. Divide by standard deviation of x, which is here, 2828.427. This right here is the definition of z is greater than 0.3535 so we have to pull up our z table here so we're looking for z greater than 0.3535 right so 0.35 corresponds to 0.6368 and again they give you the normal side on the exam and 0.63368 actually corresponds to this part right here but the area that we're looking for is where z is greater than this part so we can actually just do 1 minus 0.6368 to figure out what that area is which is equal to 0.3632. So they're saying the probability that B's profits is greater than A is equal to 0.3632. But remember, we have to put it back in here. So this is equal to 0.18 plus 0.12 times, what was the probability? Oh, 0.3632, which is equal to 0.22358 which is approximately equal to 0.223, our answer, D. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!